folks, how you doing? Cat Mork here. Thanks for tuning in. Kid Coat Cheese Outdoors. What's this episode? This will be a quick little episode of, I'm sure you've all experienced it. You're out there, you fluke fishing, some are flounder fishing in Long Island Sound or some back bay, and you have zero drift, all right? And it's just, you got nothing happening, you got to make something happen, all right? Let me just stop for a second. Matt Davis, congratulations on the big W, pal. Your package is en route. As a matter of fact, let me send it right now. Oh. Man, Congratulations, man. The big W there, right? All right, so what are we doing here? Let me show you. We are using these babies today. I'm mean, gonna have to get a close up and get out of the way. What are they? They are tidal tails, all right? Tidal tail jigs. The one you see right there is the one I used all day the other day, and it's a half ounce banana jig, all right? What's cool about these uh, little jigs is that they absolutely match perfectly the gulp nuclear chicken shrimp, all right? And that's what we do today, all right? Zero drift, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna target these fish, and we're gonna have to make a drift happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast out, and we're gonna work that shrimp back to the boat, all right? Who doesn't like a shrimp, right? Shrimp is the food of the sea. It really is the uh, food of the sea. Fish eat it raw, all right? You can barbecue it. Yeah, sometimes they eat it that way. Shrimp gumbo. True. Stir fry. Never seen them prepared that way. All right, but let's, let's, let's just face the facts here. Huh? These fish are targeting that shrimp. Who doesn't like a shrimp, Me. right? So what we're doing is we're gonna work that across the sea floor. We're gonna keep them moving to us. We're gonna jig them back. I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? What happens here is when you're fishing, you're looking at your GPS. You always should have a speed over ground setting on, on your menu, okay? And you wanna be looking at that machine fan. If that's doing 0 0.2, 0 0.3, you're going nowhere, right? You can literally dock your boat in a slip, have it all tied up, and your GPS is gonna, I guess there's a variable there, it's gonna be reading two or three, all right? So when you're out on the, on the water, and it's less than 0.4, get out there, you'll see it. It could be glass, flat cone, that zero current push. Of course, you could move that boat to a, a, a race or an outflow of a, a channel. Where you, where you have a mouth of, say, an inlet or port jeff, you're gonna have movement there because you're gonna have the ebb and flow of water coming out there and it's gonna kind of push you no matter how you like it. But when you're on these spots where these fish now are, are targeting sand deals and stuff like that and they're out in the flats and you've got zero movement, you can switch it up. You can either put that uh, jig with a green body with a, with a grub, a green grub, and work it that way, or you can do a shrimp. Shrimp will be eaten every time, all right? How many times have you guys caught bass, every species, and had the mantis shrimp in it? Not that this is a mantis shrimp, but it's a shrimp. It's in the same family. I'm going to show you how we do it. I'm going to show you how we rig it, and that's it. We're going to go out there, and we're going to kind of work that. We're going to cast it far, because again, we're not moving, so we're going to have to cover as much ground as we can. We're going to kind of... Get over here. Don't you knock! That's something that we're looking at. Look at this. Come over and look in the mirror. In the mirror? In the thing. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Do you believe she comes in and know my speech right now? Sorry. I'm working washing dishes and cleaning up after a big party. Alright. True. What have you done to help me? Big, making the Kiko Cheese Tacos Nation. Oh, I, that's right. I forgot. Alright. Check these. Take care of brush your hair, right? Yeah, let's take this big for a run. So what'd you get here? Some you got a bike going on? We do have a bike on. <laughs> hey, what's going on? There is a bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Good thing I don't have my GPS with me. Yeah. Alright, folks, so here we go. We have the uh, Titan Tail Jig. It's a half ounce, and we have the nuclear chicken shrimp from Gulp. And the key here is when you hook it up, you want to make sure that that shrimp is really dead ball straight on that hook. All right, you don't want it hooked or looped or like a J or anything like that. You want it to be really straight, just like you see it right here. Okay, we're going to take that now. We're going to cast it out, and we're going to work it back, just like I said in the earlier video. We're going to work it back, work it back. Let's start with a little song here. What? There it is. <laughs> There's the man right there. Man right there I know, donating I know. all the baby soldiers on the side. Hi, how are you? Enjoy it. Catch fish. It's good. And there's the wife of the man who does everything. <laughs> the real king. The Have present. a good time when the soldiers are the sound. There you go.
folks, so we get that basically right. We're going to be casting that as far as we can because the further we cast, the more ground we cover as we work it back to us. So we're just going to cast it, you know, let that uh, jig hit the sea floor, you'll feel it hit, and you're just going to work it back to you. Constantly jigging it, making it kind of like a, like a shrimp, kind of undulating on the floor, and then you'll stop it. You're not going to stop it, but you'll stop jigging, but you'll keep reeling. You're just going to jig, 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 keep reeling, keep reeling, jig, 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 keep reeling, keep reeling, jig, jig, jig. And that's just going to trigger that bite. You'll definitely feel the strike. The question is if you catch way out there, it's going to be a real serious hook set. That's why you see me really doing these animated hook sets because I need to really move that bait to set the hook into the fish's mouth. All right? So that's it. Out fishing. Uh, a member of the con comes up, asks me for a little sunscreen. Of course, I give him the sunscreen. He walks up and goes, Oh, it's Kiko Cheese. Good night, Dyson. This is too funny. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> running All with, right. Running with some of your watches, if anything else. <laughs> Say, yeah. How are you making out? Uh, I got uh, four schoolies and four, uh, four oh, short flukes so far. Beautiful. And a mess of sea robins. Oh, and I kept the blue. What are you trolling the uh, worm? Uh, I tried trolling some worm earlier. I've uh, been mostly doing bucktail with gulp and teaser. That right there, that's that high low sir. That's no, what the, the fluke hitting? You can't beat it, yeah. Nah, it's just yeah. money, money. We'll see you on the next episode. Right now, right, I'm, doing, I'm doing the thing for uh, John Knight. You ever have his bucktails? Try his bucktails? Say again, John Knight? I yeah. haven't tried him yet. Come over here, pull up. I'm going to give you one. Name your color. What do you recommend? Right now, I would start going Sorry. chartreuse. Chartreuse? As, as, yeah, as we start to get the, uh, we go light. Oh, you're heavy. All right, John, I'm meeting Kiko Chief people out there. There you go. Right there. Title Tales. Beauty. <laughs> this is going to get the monsters. <laughs> All right, man. Good luck. Catch them up. Thanks. Same All right. You. There's there you Seth. That's it. Oh, I know what we need to do right now. I know what we need to do right now. I need to do my con shout out. And who's this con shout out this week? Jolie, I, I, I gotta pronounce his name because I'm almost positive. Joey Camilleri. He's gotta be me. He's gotta be either a soldier or a made male with that name, all right? Joey <laughs> Camilleri. Guess I think Joey. All right, congratulations, Joey. Writes, uh, thanks for all the instructional videos. Keep up the good work. And he catches a 26 pounder right there, that 26 pounder. Joey, you gotta hold that baby up and out, baby, all right? Make that 26 like a 46 case of DJ, all right? That's one of the next videos. How to do shenanigans on uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick episode. Basically, what I'm saying to do is in your arsenal, go out there, get some nuclear chickens, get some of John's, uh, get some of those banana jigs. Reason being, those jigs in particular. They have a short shaft on them. If you put that in your arsenal, you can always use that when you start to jig blackfish, all right? These are by far the finest blackfish jigs out there. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa real, baby. That's a fish, yeah. Real. I, I'm trying. He ain't going anywhere. Get that right I'm ready to go. Let me get out of the way here. I'm not going to make you. What? Get the net? Get the net, yeah. Definitely not a 10-pounder, but... Uh, I just got a lot of fucking fight to him, so fast. Thank you. I was, feel I was feeling a little warm. I use this jig all day. I'm telling you, if I use one of the jigs I've made, and I've given a couple of my jigs out to a couple of my viewers here, this jig right now does not have a blemish on it, not a paint chip or anything. If this was my rig, my jig, and I'm sure my uh, guys I sent it out, once it hits that rock for some reason, the paint just breaks off, right? But the tidal tail jigs, typical saying, you get what you pay for. Get the tidal tail jigs, put them in your tackle box, throw a couple of nuclear chicken uh, thing of gulp, hide somewhere in the boat and say, hey, it's a dead, it's dead idea. What can we do to catch fish? Go out there, target these fish. Throw out that uh, as far as you can. You can use a half ounce, you can use quarter ounce uh, pilot tails. The lighter you can get to the bottom, the better, because it has a much better action. It'll, you know, when it's on the floor, it kind of flutters a lot. If if you use a quarter ounce, it flutters a lot nicer. But half ounce, as you can see, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to oh, talk junk here. I caught easy in two hours, easy 50 fish doing this stuff. I mean, I'm not going to start showing you a million fish that I'm catching, all right? I'm not here beating my chest about catching fish. I'm just trying to show people, young kids, Take, have the fathers and what? Even the mothers. Have the mothers and fathers take the kids out fishing. This is one of the things you can put in your tackle belt. Not tackle belt, your tool belt, alright? When you're out there fishing, alright? Tidal tail jigs, 
You could use any other jig. No. You can. But I'm telling you, Tattle Jail jig's no joke. John Knight, my man, guess that Deech made a mooch. Matter of fact, we're going to be doing another episode coming up, and we're going to be doing the uh, stingers for the Tattle Tail jigs. I don't have them with me right now, but we're going to be doing an episode of fluke fishing using the Tattle Tail jigs. All right, those are the bucktails. All right. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Shake of these, take care, brush your hair. You know where the chub kids got to go. Hey folks, thanks for watching Kid Coat Cheese Outdoors. Special shout out to John, John and Ken of the MPA. Taking first place in Billy's on the Bay Flu Tournament there. Case of Deech, boys, congrats. All right, please subscribe and like if you like. Make a comment below and shake of these. Don't forget, Kid Coat Cheese every Tuesdays. Peace out. Don't you killing me.